Anthony Fisher was the first great champion of public policy think tanks as a means to change the long-term climate of ideas. He saw that politicians are captive to public opinion and to the pressures exerted by bureaucrats and lobbyists. He saw that if you wanted real reform in the public interest, you needed to persuade opinion leaders and reach to the general population. When Margaret Thatcher came to power in 1979, she credited the Institute of Economic Affairs with making market-oriented ideas respectable again, and therefore making her rise possible. The IEA was the first think tank that Fisher founded. It would soon have many imitators. In the 1970s, Anthony Fisher recognized the need to set up research institutes and was asked by groups in different parts of North America to assist them. For example, the Fraser Institute in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, the Manhattan Institute in New York City, the Pacific Research Institute in San Francisco, among others. And at that point he realized that there was a worldwide need for such public policy research institutes and he began to set up the Atlas Economic Research Foundation in order to accomplish that. He had the view that there was a necessity for a large number of research institutes, not one single grand institute, in order to be able to provide information to get feedback from many parts of the world. In 1981, Anthony Fisher founded the Atlas Economic Research Foundation to streamline the process of helping startup think tanks get off the ground. Today, there are about 300 think tanks in 60 countries that educate the public about economic freedom and lead opinion toward market-oriented reforms.